We're going to take a look at the IDW drawing and creating it for our three jam part. Once again, entering something new for you, we're going to put this cutting plane line in here and we're going to create a section view. And notice those are to dimension the pockets that are on the inside for the O-ring groove and the depth here. We never want to try, or it's good practice, not to dimension hidden lines. And these would show up as hidden lines if we just placed a side view. So let's start. From the ribbon bar and inventor, we're going to select new, standard IDW, and click create. Once again, this comes up as a D size sheet, so we're going to change this to a B size. Over here, sheet one, in our model browser bar, we're going to right click and edit sheet. Change D size to B size and click OK. And now we're going to go to base at the top in our ribbon bar, browse folder, scroll all the way down in your H drive to find your three jam part, and click open. Click OK. Bring your cursor to the red dotted line that goes around your part. Bring this off to the side. Then we're going to take Zoom in on this just a little bit so that we can have a better identification. I'm going to do section view from the ribbon bar to top, section view. And I could cut all the way straight through these holes that are here in the top, but I'm going to offset it just a little bit. I'm going to draw that straight down. Okay, maybe I'm a little too over. Let me try that again. It's okay if you press the escape key and try again. So I'm going to come as close to this whole edge as possible, but not touch the hole. Okay, that looks a little bit better. Click. And then once we click on the bottom to get that line, you're going to right click and continue. Remember, to get right click to get this continue to pop up, you probably need to switch from your pointer tool to the mouse tool to get that right click option. Okay, zooming back out, there's my section view. I'm going to bring it off to the side and click. Okay, that gives me my section. That wasn't too hard. Next, I'm going to take that pictorial isometric view up here, and that's using projected. So when I click projected, I don't have anything attached to my mouse. I'm going to come to my main part here, my front view, click. And now I have that pictorial isometric. I'm going to place off here to the side. Once again, right click and create. Let's organize this on here a little bit better. There, that's much better. Happy with that. Then we're going to come over to our annotate tab. And you are going to take and place these dimensions on here in the same spot or kind of the same spot that I have them. The note and techniques learned, you do not have to add. Okay, so going back, I'm going to identify a couple of things on here. One is the bottom edge of those slots. Okay, and all of these, you can just take time and place them in. Everything that we had dimensioned on that PDF, you're going to dimension as well. As long as it gets basically in the same spot, everybody's going to be happy with what you have. Make sure all the important things are identified, though. <coughs> okay, we have holes. We use the hole and thread tool. If you have circles, we're going to use the dimension tool. Okay, so kind of get dimensions on there to sort of match these that are up here. What I have entered in here as 0.125 O-ring groove, you don't have to enter that in. You can stick with whatever the computer comes up to dimension. However, if you wanted to try and change that, you can. All I did was click on that part, put my cursor in front, and then you can add dimensions or notations to that dimension as well. Okay, so once you have this finished, 
you're going to take this standard IDW that sort of matches, doesn't have to be exactly in the right spot as our PDF here. You're going to take and match those dimensions on here, and then you're going to take and save this. Let's show you how to save. We're going to file, orange file in the top left-hand corner. Go down to save as. Make sure this is going into your H drive as always. Click save. Now to prepare it to turn in, we need it as a PDF. So we're going to go to file, orange file in the top left-hand corner. Go down to export, PDF. Once again, go into your H drive and click save. That PDF that we just saved or created is the thing that gets turned into Google Classroom. There will be a spot in Google Classroom for three jam part. Please make sure that your screenshot for the CAM tool parts and your standard IDW, this drawing, is in there for turning in. Great job on this. We'll look forward to the next part.